That hey, truck. Hey, they ain't trying to get in there now. Baby, no, Dion could never, honey. That's he why could you never. Buy, that's why you buy him to get big tires and all that. No, sir. Y'all, Mitchell would come up missing if I see Dion on the car. Look at that, Jamon. Uh-oh. <laughs> you might as well get ready for it. I'm out the car. No, you not. Oh, you buy him for it. You just watch that edge, don't you fall off. What dealer? Where is dealer? Dog, where he at? Dylan don't be playing, y'all. <laughs> Dylan is not very sociable. I know. Ain't that something? That's what I was telling your daddy. Every time, y'all know what it's that. Every time you get a vehicle, whatever vehicle you get, all of a sudden, all of a sudden you see that vehicle. I guess because you just start paying attention to vehicles like that. Look at Dylan way up there, y'all. Y'all see him way up there. That boy, T. Anyway, let me get in the car. It's cold out here. And then why why all of us have ice cream? Well, except for Jamal. Jamal say he fool. Jamal say he don't want nothing. Everybody else got ice cream. And then Mr. DB over here, he got ice cream and no, two kickies. No, I don't need no ice cream. No, he don't need none. You're looking nice today, honey. 
good. You're looking very. You're looking beautiful today. As you always do every day. Did you hear what I said? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going there with you <laughs> on, on, on the tube today. We got babies watching this. You behave for the babies. Okay, I'm going to take it at y'all. So y'all would never, y'all didn't hear what it was I said to the beaches. <laughs> y'all just heard his response. So I'm going to be good. Oh, them is some cute ones. Oh, they must be a party over there. She probably look like a party on. Um, I'm going to go over We'll come back over here, honey. All right, let me get off y'all because it's cold. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get inside. Look at Dylan, honey. Little, little me. Look at Dylan, y'all. <laughs> he probably sitting there fussing, y'all. Look at him. <laughs> I can't zoom in because I got my ice cream in the other hand. <laughs> Hey y'all, so we are back home. It is much later in the night. And as you can see, Mr. K is eating some of our leftovers from our date night. All right, eat it before it go bad. It was just yesterday, honey. Well, I had to go ahead and eat it. Ain't this my part too? Ain't this like my leftovers? Yeah, but you ain't gonna eat it though. I was planning on eating it for breakfast. Mm -mm. You're gonna let it go away. So y'all, we had some hibachi. We got this little spat. Let me set y'all up real quick. Let me get my water. Here we on. We on, bro. I'm eating, y'all. I'm not gonna cake coming. But hey, could could keep me down real quick. Ain't no steak. A piece of chicken? There's chicken in here. You ain't putting no steak in here. I ain't putting no steak in there? Nah, no. Yes, I did. Oh, I gave you, I gave you the steak when we was at the um, no, She right. gave me two little pieces of steak, <laughs> It was actually three. Thank you very much. Two, two in the one. No. Two pieces of steak. The other was fat. Wasn't no meat yeah, on there at all. It ain't a whole lot of meat. It ain't, it wasn't a whole lot yes, of meat. She gave me two little bitty pieces. It was already cut up. Now, now I done ate all the steak. <laughs> What else? I don't want that big old piece of meat. Milo, you can go on somewhere because you ain't finna get nothing. Who's talking about it? <laughs> but anyway, y'all. This is what I'm Me and my honey had so much fun this week. We did a lot of stuff. Off camera. Um, we had fun on that golf court, y'all. Tell them about the golf court, honey. I don't know, y'all. I was like, this close to making space in the garage for a golf court. <laughs> I was close, y'all. I was thinking about getting one. Mm -hmm. I'm inventing to get one. The reason that I was pushing so hard for him to get one is because, okay, so y'all know, I created like the porch area, like his little relaxation spot, you know, for when he get off work and all that stuff. But I mean, sometimes he don't wanna go out there. Now, a lot of times he do go out there, but sometimes he just wanna be inside the house, so of course, he go any way he want to go in the house, but the spot is Bonquisha. If you're new to the channel, Bonquisha is the sectional. If you're new to the channel, I give everything a nine. Right, Mitchell? Mm -hmm. So, um, anyway, I just, I tried to tell my husband that I figured a golf cart would be like his way to ride and relax. You know, after he get out of work, after he get home, eat, settle down, because it seemed like even when he get home, his phone is still ringing. He's still answering emails and all of these stuff. Because, you know, he the, he the big man. Well, that's what he I, the big man on campus. That, that's what I signed up for, baby. I can't hear. Right. And as his wife, it is my job to try and 
you know, when he get out of work, it's my job to help him to relax. To give him a great atmosphere to relax in, which is why, you know, I have the house like I have, and I try to make, um, you know, his area in the room comfortable. As many of you know, he got his recliner in the room and all of that. So I just figured like a golf cart would be the perfect toy for him. You know, because a lot of our neighbors, they got riding 10, 30, 11 at night, and everybody. It's usually a lot of people out riding, and it, it seems like it's just a good, you know, way to relax and clear your mind and all that. So that's that's why I wanted him to get it because I feel like it would be a good way for him to relax after work. Mm. Might be. So then I might get get home, open the garage, and go for a gun. No. Jaden gone. Oh, Jaden. <laughs> I thought you was finna say me, but I, I know I would enjoy getting on it sometimes with him. But that's that's why I wanted to get it. I really wanted to get it for Demetrius for him to just relax. You know, clear his mind. Because I know, you know, as all of the wives out there know, you need to give your husband time and he day me time. So mm -hmm. I always try to create an environment for my husband to relax in. I was thinking about it. We were thinking about it, but we did have fun riding in the grass. Yeah, they got a little mm -hmm. field beside the little place that you can ride the tip driving in. So we tip drove the white one. The black one was the one I want. But the white one we tip drove and uh, it was nice, man. It was fun, man. The white sitting there. I'm bouncing her everywhere through the field and uh, just riding. And then when I hit the cement, y'all, I hit the gas, see if it'll go a little bit more. Talking about some old little I was holding on, <laughs> y'all. I thought I was going to fall out that thing. <laughs> but the one that we were looking at, it was street legal. So it had a VIN number, seat belt, all that stuff. So you can ride it on the street, you get you a tag, put on an insurance, all that stuff. So I thought. Oh, you know what? I forgot I got that chip. But now I'm going to roll this chip in here and sit down. But I thought it would be cool, too. Uh, you know, Mongo ain't really big on Mardi Gras, but my family is. So, I can take it downtown, the mall for how party, and Mardi Gras come, we can just hop on the golf cart and ride up the street. You know, instead of doing all that walking, you know. So I, I yeah. thought about it in that case too, you know. So, I don't know. And I told him, I go like, I actually told him, which I don't know if y'all can see me. Can they see me down here? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I don't know if y'all can see me. Yeah, I can see you. Oh, mm -hmm. Milo. But, like I told him, I was like, I feel like this year, like he should take a little mini vacay and go hang out, you know, downtown with his family because his family, a lot of them come down here for um, motor run. Of course, I don't mind going, you know, to support my husband and go, oh, you want to put him in the bag and he going to keep on jumping up here. Thank you, honey. But to support my husband with going to the family reunion or whatever, because I enjoy hanging out with his family. I just don't like, like, the downtown. You know, like, back in the day when we went to Mardi Gras, it was people would let the kids go up front. Well, we was, and we was younger, and we was kids. I know, but even back then, I didn't care for it like that, just because I don't like... I don't like the, the adults mm -hmm. knocking the kids down mm -hmm. for some candy. Right. You know, and then it started to begin to be like people would get shy and killed. And I just, I ain't want to have, I ain't want to have our kids out there in the midst of that. If you want a moon pie, we'll buy your moon pie. Yeah. A piece of candy. And that's, you know, the, that's the reverie side of it, you know. Well, what's that? They be drinking them. Hey, don't do it like that. I just don't it look like a piece of fat. No, 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 I don't no. like fat. Do y'all, do y'all, <laughs> for people in your food, I warm this up for me. 
But yeah. you got the others in my food, uh-uh, though. Uh-uh. I warm this up for me. Then she go get her fork. Don't y'all hate when folk like picking your food and just be like, what's this? Uh-uh, don't, don't mess <laughs> don't with my food. Let me, know, let me know if y'all, let me know. My yeah. husband be in my food all the time, uh-uh. y'all. Oh, all the time. Oh, look, here she, right, you just here, grab here, she, here she go, y'all. What, what's this? <laughs> what's this? Come uh-uh. on, leave me now. Give me my food. Come on, baby daddy. Don't, do, don't be like that, Mitchell. Don't be like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but so I don't know if Demetrius if we gonna take y'all to the Mardi Gras. Of course, if we go, we'll take y'all. I might get y'all the one like I did last year, so y'all can see how Mardi Gras is down here in Mobile. Are you talking about that night when it's in No, nah, I might take y'all. We might go to the uh, Avenue Parade. Oh, Lord. Uh, the US Parade. <laughs> Lord, I need to get my piece of steel. <laughs> That's where you get out of the frozen. But I think that we gonna be with your family, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. And we gonna be like in the group with your family, I'm good. Yeah. Is when you just in a random spot. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, most people be with their family. Right. You know, you have a whole section of folks in this. You know, if they family cutting up and stuff like that. And, my family, they eat real big in the Mardi Gras. Y'all yeah, would enjoy the Mitra's um, side of the family. Mm-hmm. We got to get your mama on camera. Now, I'm, y'all, the Mitra's mama is funny. I wish she would get on camera more often. Mm-hmm. But then when y'all see the Mitra's mama on camera, she be all quiet. Mm-hmm. But we need to get her on camera. We need to go by there, take the truck by there and get her on camera. You going to be quiet then? You going to be quiet? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's nice. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as we cut the camera off, mm-hmm. y'all, let me to my mama. Well, yeah, man. We had a good time, man. Enjoy Monica truck. Mm-hmm. You're riding. We was actually about to, um, let me tell y'all about me and Mitchell. So, not that we couldn't hop in his car. And just ride somewhere, but well, y'all know it's just something about when you get a new vehicle. Demetrius said the other day he was like, "Honey, I, I want something to eat," and I was like, "Okay, well I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna cook." I forgot what I told him I was gonna cook. He was like, "I kind of wanna want something else to eat," and I'm like, "Okay, well what you want?" So here I go. You want me to take you over to um, what's the spot, honey? Then we went for your birthday. Salt Grass. I said, you want to go to Salt Grass? He go, yeah. <laughs> His eyes live. He like, yeah. I ain't turning down Salt Grass. But we just been having fun. She, just... she psyched me up, y'all. She thought, I thought I was going back. And I ain't go back. But we ended up doing come on in. Yeah, well, the kids, I took out work, y'all. And the kid was in school, so... We had to pick Dylan up from practice or something. Yeah, and we couldn't go. It just yeah. kind of missed Yeah, it kind of missed the afternoon up. Mm-hmm. We had to get him from practice or whatever. Jamon, because I think Jamon was, whatever he was doing, he couldn't pick him up. Mm-hmm. So, and then somebody asked him to come in. And y'all, I've been, I just been so busy with trying to get videos out, you know, trying to make sure I complete vlogmas and just other behind the scenes. Y'all know mama stuff, wife stuff, me stuff. And um, so I haven't been, I've been reading the comments, but I haven't been just replying to all of the comments, but I do read them. But I, um, somebody was asking, I think a few people was asking what, what we did with the BMW with Leon. We actually traded him in. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't, like I told Rich, I was like, well, it'd be, a, you know, good to keep it for dealer, but that, that vehicle, the maintenance on that vehicle is off the chain. I ain't nothing. Mm-hmm. It's expensive. And so, um. Uh, it, ain't, it ain't that bad, but, I mean, on any car, it's expensive these days, but you want it to be. You're expensive. And what I mean what I mean by that is we bought the car used. Mm-hmm. So we was kind of taking on somebody else repairs. You know what I'm saying? It was mm-hmm. a good car, good nice vehicle. Right. It was time to get the brake done. It was uh 
And that was a thousand dollars. Yeah, that was a thousand bucks to get the break. Done. Well, we break were, we rollers. weren't gonna do it. Breaks and rollers. <laughs> and something else. Something else. Then it was just uncomfortable. Right. Uncomfortable for monitor road trips. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. You know, I was going to put some brakes, put the brakes and stuff on it. But we got to looking at kids riding there. Well, let me tell y'all. We, hold on, honey. I ain't trying to catch you out. Yeah. Well, well I'm trying to let the people know. <laughs> no, I, y'all know I'm going to be real with y'all. We wasn't going to pay for it because I had an already went to the dealership. Like, hey, we just got this ride. There's some in my eye. Honey, you see an eyelash in my eye? Oh, yeah, it is in there. You need to go get that out. You can't get it? Uh-uh. If you stop blanking. Blanking? I think it's that. Is that? Yeah. How you gonna tell me to stop blinking and you gotta blink? Nah, you supposed to leave your eye open. So what well, I'm just trying to get the little your little lace like your eye, you leave yours open. Yeah, like you hold it open, you be like. Why? I, why you gotta look like that? <laughs> get on my nerves, y'all. <laughs> Got what I was saying. Well, you talking man, about the car. Yeah, but I'm going to be real with y'all. I had to go to the dealership, and I'm like, listen, we just bought this car. So that expense wasn't going to be on us. Yeah, boy. She don't understand how it's going to work. She thought she get everything done. She go down there and type some folks up. That wasn't finna happen. Not on no brake job. Yes, it was. No, but right. when we took it to the dealership, they said the brakes was good. Anyway, y'all. She don't know. I know. I'm in this industry. Oh, so Jesus. I Christ. know how go. stuff work. You don't know everything. Listen, us women know some stuff too. That's fine. I ain't saying that. But when when your girl tell you that ain't how it work, that ain't how it work. Well, anyway, long story short, it ain't our problem no more. It ain't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't. So, but anyway, we would like we we rolling in dough like that where we about to give a teenager a BMW now. You said that. I ain't say that. Was, you, said, <laughs> <laughs> you said that. Oh, I but, want to be the game now. Right, but Dylan, I feel like Dylan is going to be a very responsible driver when he get a vehicle. Mm-hmm. I feel like he'll be good, but you know, he already getting, it's going to be a, a what? A Honda or a Toyota or something like that. Mm, that's all you want. Right. Mm-hmm. Something but, dependable. Right. Dylan ain't, look, Dylan is, is very laid back. And y'all, the other video, we was talking about how Dylan was like his dad. He's, he's laid back. But Dylan is the kind, let me tell you the difference between Jamon and Dylan. So let's just say, for example, we'll just say, just say, for example, somebody talking to Dylan in their girl's thing. That's the only thing I think of. <laughs> and somebody talking to Jamon in that girl's thing. Mm-hmm. Jamon, you know, he'll just probably back up and be nice and not say that. Mm-hmm. And Dylan will probably be like, man, get out of my face. Your girl's thing. So that's the difference between. <laughs> I don't think he'll be no. I don't think he'll do that. I think he'll do that. I think he'll. I don't think he'll embarrass him, but I think he'll say something to us. Or like one of his friends be like, bro, his bro stank, bro. <laughs> Dylan like is just kind of, he, he, he's very blunt. Mm-hmm. And the way that he says stuff, it comes off as very rude. You know, I'm, I'm just being real, but that's just his personality. Um, Milo, what's wrong with you? Like Demetrius told y'all, um, with the door opening. Why well, I keep touching you, Demetrius? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 well. <laughs> y'all, my husband just been looking. I mean, you always look good to me, but it just kind of reminds me of them high school days, you know. Why? Right, Cause I'm slim again. I don't know. It's just I don't know. In high school, I'm used to him being. I'm used to him being small like this. He was smaller than this in high school. In high school, I was about 145, 150. Mm-hmm. So I'm like 190 now. 190, between 190 and 185 back and forth. So, I, I think it's just the age of some of the break coming in or something. You know what I'm saying? See, y'all have to try to, I, I have to try to edit slip out the video. The media already got on me earlier today. Because, I mean, I told y'all I'd be forgetting the camera on sometimes. Look, back to what we were talking about. <laughs> I don't know what Big Coke got going on. You, but, you but, is what I got going on. He, he got the. I don't know what she's 
she got I'm going on. I'm going to be quiet, y'all, because... Listen, I don't okay. know what she got going on today. Oh, see, so you making me run into the aisle. Yeah, tell the aisle. Somebody talk to this chick or something. But like we were saying, each child is different. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Dylan has his own personality. That's my dude. I love my child. I, I want to choke him sometime. That's all choke of them. Choke him, man. I want to choke him, bite and slam him. Your mind had his moments. You know, everybody yeah. kids going to have their moments. Mm-hmm. Jaden had her moments. Yep. You know, I let her mama fuss at her every now and then. I check her too. Her, hey, 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 chill out. You know what I'm saying? That's life. That's kids. Right. Nobody kids are perfect. Mm-mm. Each one of them had their own personality. You know, but as long as they... Long as you still able to check them, right. if you can't check them no more, then they got to go. They got right. to go. If, if you can't put, if you can't bring them back in, they got to go. They too grown in. Mm-hmm. They got to go. And Javon, at one point, he was ready to go. I think when he got out of high school, baby, I don't think you can make Javon leave now. No, uh, <laughs> I think Javon think he was gonna get married and bring his wife here with him, Matrix. Uh, he thought he he thought he was gone. That grease in. He thought he would, he thought he would go, uh, you know, get out of high school, get an apartment, mm-hmm. and all that stuff, you know, with a little bit of job. And he didn't realize uh, bills. Bills. He didn't understand bills. Honey, this wood cleaner. Oh, it is. It got cleaner in it. Look at this. That's not granite cleaner. No, you always talking about look, it's wet because I mean it's looking like that because it's wet. Look at that. I like that. Mmm, yeah. smells so good. It's, it's got that almond. I know I be all over the place, y'all. It's just this just me. I know y'all should know that by now. But uh, yeah, that cat saw how how much the apartment cost down here. Was <laughs> a nice apartment, and uh, the apartment then what the uh, electricity. Well, the funny thing about it, honey, he gonna look at these apartments we used to live in. Yeah, we stayed in some apartment that were pretty nice. Right. And then he gonna call himself going (laughs) online, and then he told him something. Oh. And then I said, well, what's your budget? And he told me his budget. I said, well, this is where you gonna have to go and get an apartment. He talking about I think I'm going to just stay at home right, for a little right. while longer. I'm like, son, you know, we'll help you out, but we ain't, you know, we ain't finna do all this stuff and you ain't contributing. Uh, you got to contribute. If you want to get out here and do this on your own, you're going to have to do this on your own. You know, you and your little girlfriend, whatever you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, he saw that uh, apartment note. Right. He wasn't ready for it. He wasn't ready for it. And Javon, he has a girlfriend. Dylan, I don't know what Dylan doing. He talking about he ain't got time, so I don't know. Dylan kind, he all want to be all private and stuff, so. So that's the difference between all of them. Jaden, at one point, she seemed like she was kind of getting into, you know, a little boy. I think a little boy liked her or whatever. Of course, her daddy, he wasn't going for that. But she kind of, like, you know, she had other stuff on her mind. Jaden and Dylan, they have a lot of Things that they do that's a lot well, to me. They closer to that. Mm-hmm. With Jamal and Dylan, right. Jane and Dylan is a lot closer. Right. Dylan, they had a moment where they fuss or whatever. Mm-hmm. But that's that's the whole reason Jane uh, ran cross country because her big brother ran. She wanted to do what he wanted to do. He do what he was doing. So right. you know, it's just that brother sister connection, but. Anyway, we rambling. We just talking about all yeah, kinds of stuff. Yeah. But, uh, we just try to be real. We try to be, I mean, you know, what you see is what you get with us. So that's how we try to be. We try to just talk about life. Speaking of life, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all about me and COVID today. So, I'm riding on this and getting on the end stage, right? And... <laughs> I'm going to laugh about it because me, Dylan, <laughs> and Jay were fussing out of the day. So, look, we getting on the interstate, y'all. And I got an ice cream in my hand because we went by the uh, dessert Well, they saw place. early in this video. Yeah, we went by the dessert place to get some ice cream. 
So I'm getting got my ice cream in my hand with my spoon to the side because I'm driving. You know, I ain't paying no attention. I look over, it's this little lady. Uh, I'm on the call her Karen. But I'm trying to get over, and the little lady wouldn't even let me over. She sped up on purpose or whatever, and, and was on the side of me. I saw I just slowed down, let her by, and I'm looking down. I said, look at her, mom. She threw her hand up in the air, you know, in front of her, like, whatever, you know. So I put her in Jamun. Her and she already pumped up. What she do? What she do? Pull up on the side up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up on the side. I'm like, what? What's going on? <laughs> and I usually don't do that. Look, here goes Jamon. You seen that mama? He egging her on. You seen that mama? Yeah, yeah, mama, that don't make no sense, mama. You seen that mama? And then you finna pull up. I'm like, what's going on? So traffic slowed up. I pulled around on the side of the lady. Monica rolls the one down, y'all.
Y'all mamas know how it is. You got your kids in the car and then you, you got your kids in the car. Stop look, me, please. look, y'all. She was just sitting there at first. She said, the lady, little lady had to look at Mama. She Mama. did. She said, Mama, she said, that neck win. She said, <laughs> she, what she did, honey, was she gonna sit there and, ooh, if I could have got out that truck, that's what I would have been the world. If I would, baby, y'all would have been having cash out to meet somebody and bail me out, baby. Because she, how she did, when she did that hand, and then you know in your mind, you like, my name ain't got hands up in this car. Then you gonna put your little hand up in my husband. You don't do that. Let me say some more. You know, y'all. Road rages out there, we shooting folks and all that. And that was the point I was getting crossed with Monica. I understand she got upset, but that was the point I was getting crossed. And that's something she don't never do. She probably never do it again with me in the car. But, uh. I don't, y'all. It just was something about that. I guess I think, I think, I think what got me was like, she didn't have to go out her way to do that. She did. But that's what happened on the interstate, baby. Road rage. I know, I know. That's why she don't drive on the interstate. She panicked. She might have run really off the road or something. She was driving, y'all. Ain't no tip. But anyway, y'all, I can't believe him. It was called it. Oh. Well, hey, that's life. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all did. I was laughing about it now, but I was fussing in the car. He was. He was upset. <laughs> he was upset with me for doing it, but... Like I said, I told the kids, you know, don't do not do that. Don't react like that. Don't do what mama did today. So I did go back and fix it with the kids. But, y'all, that, that, I'm just telling y'all, I'm just, I'm just being real with you. Everybody have them moments. I'm just with being real moment. with you. Everybody had a moment where they didn't know. I them. promise you, I'm, I, the Lord know. He, he he knew to have us on the interstate. Because I feel like, y'all, that part of me that, that's deep down, that, that was head. Who was that you had time, I would have got out that truck. You said we was at the red light. Yes. Yeah, I feel like, I, <laughs> especially when she did them little hand chips. You, know you know how you, you, when you was preparing in your chair. I know my mama did me a little boy. I'm done something. She jerked my shirt back. That's how I would have did it. She'd have opened that door out and snapped them right back in the car. Get your oh, mind in the car. No. See, she could have let, she could have let me over because I sped up and actually passed her so I can get over. Right. And, and she gonna she, speed and, up. And my lane was finna in and she sped up. And rolled on the side of me and wouldn't let me over. So I had to hit the brake to slow down a little bit. Then get over. So it was a little low down, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. Miss K had her moment, but it was funny. <laughs> you want that, but then y'all, my husband was hot. <laughs> Mark, you don't do that. I'm like, whatever. Then you know you that's when you bring the age. I'm 41 years old. Look, I'm like, you don't sit down some 41 year old folk get shot too. Road rage. Don't y'all fuss at me. I don't do it often. It just don't fuss at me. You know it's coming. I already know y'all for me in the coming since talking about Monica. I know y'all. You know, know it's coming. You can't do that on the interstate. I know y'all. People have road rage. I don't want to see you. You I know it's coming, Mom. I already know y'all gonna fuss. Just take it light on. Take Some it light of y'all are cut up too on the interstate. Be beyond and folks sitting at the red light on their phone. Look, then on the way home, this dude beside us almost had the wreck. I'm looking at him on the interstate on his phone. It's probably like five minutes after we care. And yeah. We care. And, and, and I'm looking at him on his phone. And he in the hammer lane. And it was a, somebody uh, had a crap neck. They must have come off of their truck or something in the interstate. He hit that bull. Pow! Brand new Camaro, too. Pow! Oh, dude. Swerving there. He almost lost control and yeah. hit the wall. Yeah. Man, I think, though, first of all, I told my husband, we got here, I said, Lord, thank you. My husband said, every time we travel like that, and we, we get back in the uh, yard, I said, thank you, Lord, for bringing us home safely. And then the next person I think is my husband. Because, baby, when I tell y'all my husband is a great driver, and he always keep his cool. He always can be calm in whatever situation. He remains calm. <laughs> Me on the other hand, that the Lord knew. He knew who to put together. <laughs> it can't be. It couldn't be two of, two of me. Uh, I couldn't be married to another me. Yeah, it's been it's been some no. close calls, like accident, right? And I was able to. I don't know. 
I know it's God, but it's some kind of way the way I think and what I see, I, I react a different way. Right. You know, as far as driving, uh, uh, swerving, mm. or if I have to drive over to the next lane or slow down, it, I instantly do it without getting into a wreck or without somebody hitting me in the back. You know, I'm always in my mirrors, seeing who behind me, seeing if somebody on the side of me, seeing what's in the front. You know, and it's it's just you know it's God I can say, but. Right. My husband I try is my... always calm. I'm, yeah. it, it's not a lot of people I can like ride out of town with. I can't do it, y'all. Yeah, I, I just look at my family. Excuse me, my family is in my hand when I drive. That's how I look at it. So I don't want to do nothing to harm my family or put us in an accident or something like that. So even when, if it's me and Monica, if it's all of it, that's what I that's. How I look at it, hey, I got my wife in my car, I'm not gonna put us in no danger or nothing like that. So mm-hmm. uh, I guess the Lord allowed me to react in my driving like that. So Yeah. You you react like that in every situation though. Mm-hmm. You just calm. Mm-hmm. The boys like that too. Now Jay on the other hand. Jay it's like Jay has both of us in mm-hmm. her. She do. Yeah. Both of us. She, she she's like a perfect balance between me and me. She like fifty percent her dad and fifty percent me. She mm-hmm. got so, but yeah, yeah. that's why I love my husband. I just realized I keep yeah. peeking at the football game on TV. My hand cold. Give me a piece. I, you need to you need to put him on me because he got this heat on y'all. I feel like I'm about to pass out. Nah, no, I could at all. Listen, you see what I'm wearing. I had a scud cap on. It was like 60-something degrees in here. Cold. I said, Monk, I got to cut the heat. At least let me cut it on the 70. I put it on 70. Look, she walked around here. Oh, I'm finna start sweating. <laughs> oh, oh, you, what you got the heat on? I'm like, I got it on you 70. You got to get out the door and get some air. I said, I put it on 70. Not 73, 74, 70. Just let me knock the chill off of him. Man, I'm going to Costco to get him a heated blanket. Because well, him and you... Give me some 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 slippers too, cause my feet get cold. I can't do nothing. It's shut down time. My feet get cold. But anyway, uh, I don't know how long this video is, y'all. But we just, you know, chilling, enjoying, talking to y'all. We finna go. But yeah, I was watching this football game. I just realized the game going on down here at at the stadium over there, at South Stadium. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just realized that. Oh, that's why we saw on buses. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it is. But uh, we'll catch y'all later, man. We just, I don't know what this is, what we're doing. Listen, uh, we just been out and then we came home and. Mark said we need to film. I said, oh, okay, that's right. Right, because I'm, yeah. listen, y'all, I, I told y'all I'm going to complete this vlog. I'm going to complete it. So, um, yeah, so I told my husband, I'm like, we need to, we need to, we need to finish this video up. And I actually was over there while Mitra was watching football. We was talking and I actually was working on our table over here. That way I can get ready to show y'all the house soon. Hopefully by no later than Tuesday or Wednesday, I can give y'all like a. What are you, what you laughing for, Nathan? It's gonna be, it's gonna be, de- <laughs> it's gonna be December 24th. Don't give up. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. <laughs> Anybody else out there like that? It, I mean, it just, it's, I don't know, it just seemed like it's something different this, this Christmas. Yeah, because normally all this be done. Right. It's, I don't know. I if think it's different too, because it ain't like it just, well, I don't have small kids anymore, so it ain't like it's mm-hmm. bikes we trying to hide and and all these thousands of little toy presents. Nah, we didn't cast some money in this. Right. Day. Y'all uh-huh. saw Jada, she actually went on. The uh site, yeah, and she ordered all the stuff that she wanted, and um, I just said, well, let me know when you get your stuff, when you get your order together. I took her the card in there. Right. She paid for it, and so it's kind of like it was exciting for her because like everything didn't come in at one time. Oh, she getting bags every day. She getting bags every day, and yeah. then Dylan, he see some, he want online or whatever, so. It's, it's easy at this point. Well, I mean, I won't have to do all of, you know, mm-hmm. Christmas stuff. I won't have to do all that, you know. 
And they have the stuff that they need, of yeah. course, but if it's something that they want, you know, me and they dad will say, you know, well, go online and get it. Because our kids are not, they not into going to the store shopping like that. Well, Jamal will. Because yeah. me and him went to the store the other day and I took him shopping or whatever. But Dylan and Jane, they not real big on going out shopping. So they just find their stuff online. Mm. It make it easier for us, so. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I just ain't. I don't know. But now that it's cold outside, I'm like, okay, I think I'm getting into the mood. But it's hard to get into the mood because it's hot. It be hot down here. I like it. I, I can't stand it. Cold. I like it cold. I said today, and that hawk hit me. You know, that hawk hit me. The who? That hawk. What's, what's the hawk? You, they know what. You know what that hawk is. That cold weather. That hog hit me. I don't know about all this language and stuff. You know what? I don't know. Why mom mommy acting like she brand new, like she ain't country? Cause that's what I time come from. What that means. You know what it is. Your mom, you y'all bet we call your mom. Now hey, hey, granted, when you go outside and that hog hit you, what that means? She gonna say that cold weather. Well. Anyway, that's I don't that's know that what other side of mom, y'all. Right? That's the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you do that look, do that look, how I look at that lady. <laughs> Bitch, you just stop. Oh, why I told him to do it then, told him to stop. Anyway, y'all, we, we finna, finna go. go. We finna go. I'm what finna go ahead and crawl up under my husband. Am I in the video or are you doing something else? I ain't I don't doing know what you're doing. This is it. This is it. All right, we'll catch y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Last thing that you do, what? remember to do it. Uh uh, that is not how you. Uh uh, that is not how you end it. Are you in? No, you don't say that. I know you say something else, don't it? What I say? I don't know, but it wasn't that. In everything that you do, remember to do it. Bitch.